This house is for Angel. Oh, you deserve a new one. Get this key and also the helicopter. Nag-trending kamakailan ang video na ito ng vlogger na si The Hungry Syrian Wanderer nang bigyan niya ng pabahay ang kanyang empleyado na dating OFW. Po, na sinabi po niya sa, sa akin na ano, para sa akin daw po yung bahay, nagulat po ako. Sobrang saya ko po nun. Hindi po ako makapaniwala kaya siguro naghalo-halo na po yung emotion ko nun na paiyak po ako. Bago pa nito, marami na rin siyang natutulungan. Gaya nung namigay siya ng cash sa Divisoria na nagkahalagang 50,000 pesos. Libreng palugaw na pampainit matapos bumagyo at bumaha sa kanilang lugar. At nang tinulungan niya ang isang homeless man, and was even able to reunite him with his long-lost daughter. I'm so, so happy. So masaya ako. This is Basil, the hungry Syrian wanderer. At marami ang nag-wonder kung ano ang buhay niya sa pinanggalingang bansa. First life there was easy for us because we had everything. Basically, we had the money. We had a good life, we had a good house. My father was an engineer, my mom was a teacher, my brother is a doctor. Bigla, there was a big change at one point in my life. The war in Syria broke out in March 2011. We had to leave home without nothing in our pockets. Me, I'm wearing my chanelas and then we went, we left the house. The war was basically like more tough where I live in my city, so we had to flee. One by one, we started like, uh, separating. My brother now is in France. My mom and my dad, they are in Saudi with my sister, some of my family's friends. So they were studying here. They said that life here is good. And then they advised my family to send me here. I was about 18 years old. I don't know how to wash my clothes by myself. I don't know how to cook any food. And it was big culture shock to me. I started calling my mom, how can I cook eggs? You know, mom, I have eggs here, what do I do? I have rice, what do I do? So I lived alone. The first six months was really difficult. It was not easy at all. I told you, I was crying. I was uh, hoping for my family to get me back. Eventually, Basil got the hang of things. Natutong mag-English at Tagalog, magluto, nakagraduate sa engineering, lumibot sa Pilipinas, at naging Pinoy at heart. Ang pagtulong raw niya ay pasasalamat sa bansang kumupkop sa kanya. I experienced having nothing, having mahirabang buhay. I feel them. We cannot help everyone in life, but just those that you can, or at least what you can do, whatever you can do, is still gonna do something good in someone's life. Hi, I'm Angel. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Cyrus. Hi, I'm Ika. Okay naman po sa amin si Sir, mabayit. Tapos, lagi nakakatawa. He's giving us a favor always. Sobrang bait niya po. Classmates po kami sa university. Then, sa bus naman po, pabait siya. Gusto niya lagi pagpasok pa lang na siya, masaya na kagad. Lagi niya kung kakamustayin ko, okay ka. Ba't ka malungkot? Ganun po. Tapos nagulat po ako na foreigner po pala siya. Tapos sobrang kulit niya, makuhento, madaldag yung ganun. Hi guys! Ito, uh, nandito po tayo na yon sa bahay ng staff ko. Two years na nag-caregiver sa Kuwait si Angel. Paalis na rin dapat for Singapore bago niya nakilala ang boss niya ngayon. Ano yung mga pinakamahirap or pinaka-challenging para sa trabaho mo bilang OFW? Siguro po yung ano, napahiwalay po ako ng matagal sa pamilya ko kasi ang hirap po mag-adjust pag nasa ibang bansa na po kayo. Marahil nga dahil may pagkapareho ito sa pinagdaanan ni Basil noon kaya't naging madali para sa kanya ang tulungan si Angel. Ang mga pinagdaanan ni Basil naging daan para sa karyer niya bilang vlogger na siya namang ginagamit niya ngayon para makatulong sa mga taong tulad ni na Angel. Patunay lang na if we can make the best out of any situation, good things can happen when we least expect it. I'm Shaila Garde and I stand for truth. <music>